Being a famous rapper comes with its risks. The money and fame, it makes you a major target for ops and haters who don't want to see you succeed, especially if you're from the streets. So those who know how to move are always prepared for anything to go down, even when you're on a job. Here's a look at a few famous rappers who are ready for ops at a show. YFN Lucci. YFN Lucci is a rapper from Atlanta, Georgia. He made headlines earlier this year after he and 11 other people were arrested in a major gang indictment that carried charges of racketeering, murder, aggravated assault, and possession of a firearm, and even more charges. This came just a few months after the rapper was arrested for allegedly being a driver in a shooting that left one of his own people dead. Atlanta police are searching for rapper YFN Lucci in connection to the shooting of two men. The rapper, whose real name is Rashawn Bennett, is charged with murder in the death of James Adams. Lucci is still fighting both of these cases and maintains his innocence, but he could be locked up for life if convicted. Check out our video on YFN Lucci Rico case blood gang takedown for more info on this case. But whether or not Lucci is guilty of the crimes he's convicted of, he's still from the streets. The rapper grew up in the Trestle Tree Village apartments in the Summer Hill neighborhood of Atlanta and got involved at a young age. When Lucci was in high school, his house was shot up by someone who he was beefing with. He was out of town at the time, but his mother was home. No one was hit, but a week later, it happened again, and both his mom and her friend got hit in the leg while they were in bed. Both survived the shooting, but the incident showed how real things could get in Lucci's hood growing up. The rapper started blowing up in the mid-2010s with tracks like Keys to the Streets featuring Migos and Every Day We Lit featuring PNB Rock. But his newfound success would also come with some jealousy and the rapper would end up having to pull a gun on a fan at a show after he tried to grab his chain. In 2016, a video went viral online of YFN Lucci holding a pistol on stage. Blogs and other media outlets started reporting that the rapper pulled a gun on a goon at a recent show in Chicago after he allegedly tried to snatch Lucci's chain. Being from the streets, Lucci wasn't about to let that happen. He had to let the audience know he wasn't playing around, even if he was in Chirac, one of the toughest cities in the US. But it turns out that the blogs got it wrong, and it was actually just an old video that was getting recirculated because the rapper was blowing up. Lucci took to social media to let everyone know that the media got it wrong, tweeting, that video was old, y'all. Nobody tried to take my chain in Chirac. It was mad love. It turns out that the video had been on YouTube for months, but no blogs had picked it up because Lucci wasn't popping at the time. It was actually footage from a show in Little Rock, Arkansas that Lucci did with Johnny Cinco, the rapper who helped discover him. Lucci probably wanted to clear the air so he didn't get hit with the gun charge or impact his ability to get booked for future shows. His people confirmed that it was him in the video, but didn't confirm or deny whether or not someone was attempting to snatch his chain in the video. But that wouldn't be the last time Lucci would get caught with a loaded weapon while on the job. In 2020, TMZ published a clip that shows Lucci firing off a bullet from a loaded semi-automatic rifle during a video shoot. The video shows the rapper standing in front of a green screen, posing with a big gun that was handed to him. He starts playing around with it, definitely not knowing one was in the chamber, and accidentally lets off a shot into the ground, terrifying his friends and the production assistants who were standing nearby. In an interview with DJ Vlad, Lucci revealed he was filming a video with a company called GT Films. He said a gun was needed for the shoot, and the director asked if he wanted a real gun or a fake one. He said it didn't matter because he wasn't actually going to use it. He assumed that he would be handed a prop gun, but it turned out that GT wasn't kidding. So I cock it back because it's looking real. I'm thinking it's fake, but it look real. I'm like, come on, look real. Lucci started playing around with the gun, thinking it was fake, but accidentally let off a shot into the ground. Luckily, no one was hit, but that story could have ended much worse if Lucci wasn't aiming at the ground. That's why rappers should stick to using fake guns in video shoots, especially on a professional set with staff and other innocent people walking around. But if you thought that was crazy, this next rapper caused a riot on a college campus, then pulled a gun on a group of students when he was trying to leave. Famous Dex Famous Dex is a rapper from Chicago known for tracks like Japan and Pick It Up featuring ASAP Rocky. Even though Dex is from Chicago, he wasn't part of the drill scene and became famous mainly for his association with Rich the Kids, Rich Forever label and other rappers from SoundCloud. But being from Chicago, Dex is already ready for ops at any moment and once he had to pull a gun on a group of students after they swarmed his car after a performance at UC Irvine. In 2018, Dex was performing at Shocktoberfest, an annual concert held on the UC Irvine campus in Irvine, California. Dex was opening for YG, and after his performance, he jumped into the crowd. 
Kids standing in the front started swarming him and caused a stampede that had to be shut down by security. The campus police claimed that the stampede caused a safety hazard and they had to shut down the concert before YG was able to even get on stage. This angered the audience even more and all the drunk college kids who came to see YG started a small riot. They spilled out onto the rest of the campus just as Dex was trying to leave and ended up swarming his car, making it hard for the driver to get out. It got so bad that at one point, Dex had to open the door and point a gun at the group of students to try and get them to back off. This prompted the university to issue an emergency alert to all students, telling them to stay away from a 25-year-old man with a height of about 5 foot 11 who had been seen with a gun on campus. But by that point, Dex was already gone. Dex clearly wasn't phased by the incident, going on social media to say, I just shut the show down and it was all positive vibes. While he probably didn't need to pull the strap out on a bunch of drunk college students, they kind of had it coming. Campus security should have done a better job and made sure the artist had a clear way in and a clear way out without getting hassled or possibly hurt. Although, they probably weren't happy that Dex already caused a riot, but it goes to show that rappers need to stay strapped at any performance because sometimes the college kids can be the wildest crowds. More recently, Dex made headlines for everything but music. In early 2021, the rapper checked himself into rehab after he posted a video to social media, clearly under the influence. Fans begged him to get help, as it was clear that the years of hard drug use were affecting his health. After getting out of rehab, he was allegedly robbed of a $50,000 watch that wasn't even his. Although, Dex claims this was just an internet rumor. Then, in March 2020, the rapper was arrested and hit with 19 different charges, including domestic battery and gun possession. While in court fighting these charges, he was arrested again for violating a protection order that was put in place for another domestic violence case. So, it may be a while before fans get to hear another famous Dex project because the rapper has bigger things to worry about at the moment. But if you thought that was crazy, this next rapper pulled a gun out of the show in South Carolina after bumping into some ops in the crowd. Black Youngster Black Youngster is a rapper from Memphis who signed the Yo Gotti CMG label. He started blowing up in the late 2010s with tracks like Booty and Hip Hopper. The rapper grew up in a poor part of South Memphis and was raised by his grandparents. He started taking rap seriously after serving a year in prison on gun and drug charges. Black Youngster signed the CMG in 2015 and quickly got involved in Yo Gotti's beef with Young Dolph. He turned himself into the police in 2017 after allegedly firing over 100 rounds into Dolph's SUV. Young Dolph had his SUV shot up. Police say nearly 100 bullets were fired into his SUV. He was not in it. And was charged with six counts of discharging a weapon into a moving vehicle and felony conspiracy. The charges were eventually dropped in 2019. But Dolph wasn't the only person Black Youngster had tension with. In 2020, the rapper was forced to pull out his strap at a show in South Carolina after he was pressed by a group of ops. A video surfaced online of Black Youngster defending himself against someone in the crowd. In the clip, the rapper is on stage talking to someone over the microphone. He can be heard saying, I don't know about y'all, bruh. I don't have no problems with y'all, bruh. But we strapped. We with whatever y'all with, bruh. We don't get no f bruh. Let me do my show. I'ma come outside. We gonna deal with that. I'ma do my show. We gonna come out and deal with y'all. Hey, look. Let me do my show. During the speech, the rapper also flashed a Draco that someone in his crew handed him, letting whoever he was talking to know that he isn't playing around and came strapped up. According to witnesses, the rapper had been pressed by a group of Charleston Crips who were in the audience and he was just defending himself. Black Youngster is affiliated with the Bloods. They must have gone at him based on his gang affiliations because he said that he didn't know them and didn't have any problems. The Crips probably felt disrespected that a blood rapper was performing in their city, so they showed up to try to shut it down. But Black Youngster clearly wasn't trying to back down and let them know they could handle the situation after he performed. This kind of situation is exactly the reason why many gang-affiliated rappers know they have to stay strapped even when on the road. When repping your gang in songs and in videos, then touring across the country, you never know who's gonna pop up at your show and press you. Even if you don't have any issues with that particular group, they might feel like pressing you just for stepping on their turf without checking in. It seems like that's exactly what happened to Black Youngster, and he had to let the ops know that he was ready for anything. The rapper didn't comment on what happened after the performance, so it isn't clear if the smoke cleared or if they fought it out in the parking lot. But no one was shot or arrested, so it seems like they must have worked things out one way or another. But it's not just the up-and-coming rappers who have to stay strapped to protect themselves. 
even rap legends, sometimes have to get their hands dirty and show the audience that they're not going to tolerate disrespect. This next rap veteran threatened a fan during the performance after he threw a water bottle on stage. Lil Wayne Lil Wayne is cemented as rap royalty and one of the most popular and respected rappers to ever pick up the microphone. But part of Wayne's appeal is that he kept it real all these years, even though he's been in the music industry since he was just a kid. This has earned Wayne a fair amount of criticism as well. But that hasn't stopped the rapper from doing what he has to do, which includes threatening the audience at a concert in 2018. Wayne was performing at the Jumanji Festival in Sydney, Australia, when someone in the audience threw a bottle of water on stage. Wheezy stopped the performance to let the audience know why that was a bad decision. He told the crowd, where I'm from, we don't throw shit on stage because all my niggas got pistols and they don't know who to shoot at. So let me let you know, where I'm from, I think y'all know that's the States, we don't throw shit on stage because all my niggas got pistols and they don't know who to shoot at. He then ended the concert early, claiming that he was trying to be the bigger person because he didn't want to kill anyone. So if you throw something else, I'm going to be more safe and I'm going to be the bigger person and just leave because I don't want to kill everybody. It's not clear how serious Wayne was about his crew carrying pistols, but he does have a history of staying strapped. In 2007, the rapper was arrested in New York City after police discovered a 40 caliber pistol in a bag on his tour bus. New at 5, trouble for rapper Lil Wayne. He was charged with possession of a firearm. He was later sentenced to a year in prison for the weapons charge and would serve 8 months on Rikers Island before being released. Even though Wayne has been famous for so long, He's still from the rough neighborhood of Holly Grove, New Orleans, and most of the people he came up with were in the streets before music. So, even though he's at the top now, from time to time, Wayne has to remind the fans that he's still from the gutter and will do what he has to do. Luckily, Wayne didn't take it too far and pull out a Draco on stage like Black Youngster. That would have looked pretty crazy, and in the end, the situation wasn't all that serious. But fans can get pretty disrespectful, and every now and then, rappers have to let their audience know why certain behavior can't be tolerated.